Parent who got his family tested for COVID through the county says the county's testing system is broken. He says if something isn't done, more people will get sick and more people will die. Our Kitty Alvarado spoke with this parent and is live in our satellite center with more on that. Kitty. That's right, and this father of two is also a professor of law and public health. He says he's familiar with COVID testing systems in other countries and says it's clear why the disease and COVID, I mean, is not contained and only getting worse, and that's because our testing is failing. Dr. Amir Adaran says he and his family got tested for COVID at the Indio Fairgrounds on Saturday. We subsequently received test results for my wife, for me, the adults, but not for the children. And Riverside County is apparently failing to provide test results for children through its county testing system. The law and public health professor says he called, emailed, and messaged countless times to get the results. I finally had to write that I was uh, going to contact a member of Congress about this. And at that point, I got a phone call. That was six days later. What you're getting is a result that's late and essentially not very meaningful by the time it arrives. He says test results should come back within hours like other countries. What I've seen in California is worse than Ethiopia. Riverside has problems and they will need to be fixed or it will cost infections and lives. We reached out to the county to ask them what went wrong. They sent us this statement that reads in part, parents receive not only a phone call automatically, but they also may see their child's COVID-19 result in the My Chart app. We strive to make accessing test results easy. Dr. Adaran says that wasn't his experience and testing is a fundamental way to stop the virus. Most basic thing, which is to test people. That system is still broken in December, about a year into this crisis. It's tragic. And the county also provided a 1-800 number for people to call if they still had issues getting those test results. And we have that number on our website, NBCPalmSprings.com. Live in our satellite center, I'm Kitty Alvarado. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Kitty. And remember, if you have a story or a, an idea that you'd like us to look into, email us at news at NBCPalmSprings.com. You ask, we investigate. Now to the latest COVID-19 numbers for Riverside County and the Coachella Valley. Another high number of cases reported today. More than 3,700 new cases.